Hi, this is Quick Sticker. It's a geometry node setup I made that pretty much instantly will instant stickers all over an object and it shrink wraps them to them so you've got no faces that are sticking off of it. And it's very simple to use. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of how to use this pack and everything you get with it. Right now, currently there are about 60 stickers or so that are available. These are all of them right here. You can see they have procedural rips on them. However, these rips change on the object. So it's randomized on the object. So no need to worry about repeating patterns. As you can see, this sticker and this sticker are the same, but their rips are different. If you want, you can increase the likelihood of certain stickers being produced by just grabbing a selection and pressing Shift D, and then those ones will be more likely to be made. In order to use Quick Sticker, all you have to do is Go over here to the sidebar, go to the modifiers tab, click geometry nodes and add in stickers. Now, the first thing, nothing's gonna happen unless you turn up the sticker density. Once you turn it up, you'll be able to see that there's stickers dispersed across the mesh randomly. Now there's a few controls we can use. First, we have the sticker seed, which will pretty much just change the stickers placement on the object. We also have sticker distance, so we can change how close stickers can get to each other. One thing you'll notice is that this can get kind of high poly pretty quickly if we just crank this number up high. But we can fix this problem if we decide to use this clumping factor. And now what the clumping factor does is it will group stickers together all in single places. And as you can see, now we have only 13,000 polygons. Now, one thing you'll notice is these are just long stripped lines. This is because the geometry nodes work based on how much geometry is in an object. So if you wanted a bit more detail, you could subdivide this mesh a couple of times and there our clumps will be in different spots. The clump seed changes where clumps occur. So we can change that quickly and change the overall look of our object. We can also change the sticker offset in case stickers are clipping through the mesh slightly. However, in most cases, zero is fine. Next, we have the center height. The center height changes where the stickers spawn based on the origin of the object. So we can move it down below the origin or we can move it above the origin. We can also change the scaling of the center height so we can make it larger or we can make it much smaller. And finally, we have this factor slider. This factor slider will basically bring this scale in even more. And with more subdivisions, it'll have more control over how big this factor is. So it works on pretty much any object and it's pretty simple to use. However, you may see some stretching in certain areas. If you do, try changing the seed value until you get rid of most of the stretching. And there we go, for the most part, that looks pretty good to me. This is also where the offset comes in. If you want, you can offset your stickers ever so slightly in order to make them so that they wrap around the mesh more. However, this isn't great for close-ups because you'll be able to see that the stickers are floating on top. Finally, one last thing to take note of is the stickers work dependent on the face orientation of the geometry. So you have to make sure that everything is facing the right direction. In order to do this, you can click face orientation. And if we see all blue, that means all of our faces are facing outside of the mesh. If, for example, all of these are facing inside, we won't see the stickers because they're all spawning on the inside of the mesh. So if I delete this bottom face and go look in here, you'll be able to see that we have all of our stickers on the inside of the mesh instead of the outside. So to fix this, just make sure that all of your faces are facing outside. You can flip your normals by pressing Shift N. A few other things to note is some objects will behave a little bit differently. So for example, you may have to turn up the scale before you start to see too many stickers. It's also important that you apply the rotation and the scale of every object just so that the stickers spawn on them at the correct sizes. The last thing to note about the sticker generator is that anything in this sticker collection will be what is instanced onto the object. So if we add new stickers, as long as you put them into this sticker collection up the top right, you'll be able to see this any custom stickers that you put in. However, just make sure that you don't put any of your scene objects into it. So for example, if we throw a cube into this sticker collection, then cubes will be instanced on this object as well. If we change the offset value, we'll be able to probably see a few. And yeah, here we are, we see a few cubes that are trying to be shrink wrapped onto the object. So if you add any new meshes, make sure that they're not in the sticker collection. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can download this asset on my Gumroad. It comes with all of the stickers and the geometry node setup. Or you can subscribe to my tier four Patreon and above, which includes a bunch of other assets and this sticker generator. And it also includes tutorials and scene creation plus breakdowns.